Good day to you all. I am Mrs. Hemalogini Premnath, teacher of English, Japna Vambadi Girls High School. I am very happy to meet you through this online learning portal. Today, I am going to teach you active and passive voice. Do you think is it difficult? No. So active and passive, this can be really a confusing grammar structure. Don't worry about that. Native speakers mostly use passive voice. Right. What is the active and passive voice? Active voice. The active voice is when the subject acts upon the verb. It performs the action onto an object. Look at the example. Sam drew a picture of an apple. Here, Sam, you can identify the subject quickly. This is Sam, the subject. Drew, the verb, is telling us what the subject is doing. So in this sentence, it is clear on who is performing the verb. The subject Sam is performing the verb. Examples of active voice. The dog jump onto the boy. Here, the dog subject is doing jumping verb. My computer ate my paper. Here, the computer subject is doing eating. So the passive voice is when we are interested in the action or object or subject rather than who is performing it. It tells us what is done to something or someone. The picture was drawn by Sam. Here, what happened? The picture. Here we are more interested in the picture than Sam. Was drawn is a verb. So we also interested in the action or the verb that is describing what is happening. Sam. We are not interested in Sam anymore. Here is the least important thing in this sentence. So, we use passive voice. In some sentences, the passive voice focuses only on the action happening to a certain object or subject. Look at the example. The banana was peeled. We are interested in the banana and what is being done to it. We do not know what is peeling the banana. Who is peeling the banana? Here is the action. Was peeled it. So, the boy was jumped on by the dog. Here, the boy subject was being jumped on. Swap. The paper was eaten by my computer. Here the paper subject was being eaten. In these cases, we use passive voice. Passive voice is used when the agent, the person who does the action, is unknown or unimportant or obviously from the context. Well, Maybe to make more polite or more formal sentence. When the action is more important than the agent, as in process, instructions, events, or reports. Mostly, you may see the newspaper headlines. Mostly they use passive voice. Why should you use the passive voice? In general, 
the passive voice is less direct, less forceful, and less concise than the active voice. Use the passive voice in the following situation. Well, you don't want to say who or what did the action. You don't know who did the action. The object is the most important part of the sentence. You want to emphasize the receiver of an action. So, in these cases, we use passive voice. Right. The form of the passive sentence. How do we form? First of all, the passive voice requires a double verb and will always consist of a form of the verb to be and the past participle of another verb. Example, Raja baked the bread. Here, the bread was baked by Raja. This is how we change the active sentence into passive. Here the was is the form of the verb be and baked is the main verb. Let's review the forms of to be. Am, is, are, was, were, be, being, been. These are the forms of verb be be used in passive voice. How to form a passive sentence? This is very important. Children, you always remember the six steps how to form passive voice. Right? There are six steps to turn an active sentence into passive sentence. Step one, identify the subject, the verb and the object of the active sentence. Step two, Move the object to become the new subject of the sentence. Step three, what is the verb tense in the active sentence? Step four, conjugate the verb be according with the subject. Step five, add the past participle form of the main verb after be. Step six, subject of the sentence what happens to that like that you remember the six steps it will help you to change the active sentence into passive how to form a passive sentence sorry right how do we make a passive sentence First of all, we look at the active sentence, the structure of active voice. Active sentence in simple past tense have the following structure. Subject plus past tense form of verb plus object. Look at the example. He wrote a letter. Here, he is the subject, wrote is a verb, a letter is an object. So first you remember the six steps. First step you have to find out the subject, verb and the object of the sentence. The second one, the object become the subject. The third step, the tense of the verb and the fourth one, what is the B form? So how do we change it? Here the object, a letter, become a subject. So when we change this sentence into passive voice, this is the structure. Subject plus was or were plus past participle of the verb plus by, then the, the active sentence subject becomes the doer of this sentence. Here a letter was written by him. 
look at this example this is simple future tense the structure of active sentence in simple future subject will plus infinitive verb plus object here he will write a letter this is the active sentence in simple future when we change this sentence into passive voice look at the structure subject plus will plus be plus past participle form of the main verb and by plus the doer of the action so you remember the six steps and change a letter the object become the subject a letter then look at the be form will be the main verb write the, what is the past participle form written and the doer by him so a letter will be written by him likewise we change active sentence into passive okay children next we are going to study about the negative sentence how we change the negative sentence active voice into passive right here look at the example the boy did not kill the cat right this sentence is in active voice here look at the verb did not kill this verb shows this sentence is in the past form so how do we change this sentence into passive right so first of all we have to find out subject verb and object here the boy is the subject did not kill verb and the cat is an object when we change this sentence into passive voice we choose the object as a new subject of the verb so the cat become the subject of a new sentence right this is negative sentence where we put not here the helping verb be form we use past form was so the cat was here kill the past participle he killed in between was and killed we put not so the cat was not killed by the boy when we change this sentence into active into passive the negative form we use not in between the was and the past participle killed right let's do this activity rose did not break the window right first we should find the subject verb and object of this sentence here rose is a subject did not break is verb the window is an object of this sentence next the object become the subject of the new passive sentence so the window right look at this verb here we recognize this sentence is in the past form so what is the be form we use here was the window was not what is the past participle of break broken not broken by rose so now you all understood how to change the active sentence into passive in negative let's go to the next sentence she will not buy a car look at the verb will not buy this verb is in simple future tense right 
So how do we change this sentence into passive? She will not buy a car. Here a car is an object. This object come a new word, new subject of the sentence. A car is in singular. So the B form will is used here. A car will not be bought by her. The not is used before B. We use not before B. So let's do this activity. Rose will not write the letter. First, find out the subject were and the object right now the object become the subject of passive voice the letter right what is the next word helping verb the letter will not be written by Rose. The letter will not be written by Rose. Now, I think you may understood this structure. Next is a tricky one. How to change the negative sentence into interrogative sentence into passive. Look at this example. Did you write the letter? Here the sentence starts with helping verb did. So you may understood this sentence is in a neg interrogative sentence. So when we change this sentence into passive voice, we start with the helping verb. So this sentence is in the past form, so was. The helping verb followed with the subject, the letter. The letter comes from here, the letter. Then it followed by the past participle written. Was the letter written by you? Shall we do this activity? Did he do this work? Here this sentence is in active voice and also the interrogative form. So here the subject he this work is an object and also is in interrogative form and this is the past form. So when we change it into passive, we started with helping verb was. Was this work What is the past participle of do? Done. Was this work done? By him. Put a question mark. Was this work done by him? Right. Look at the sentence. Here, this sentence is in simple future interrogative form. Will the judges ask him two questions? How do we change this sentence into passive? Right. First of all, the helping verb will. Then it followed by the subject. We select the subject from the object of the active sentence. So him changed he. He will he be asked 
two questions by the judges. Like as, next see the next question, how many questions will be, will the judges ask him? How many questions will the judges ask him? Here, the how many is a question word, it comes first. And also, it denotes the number, so the how many questions we select, how many questions come first. Then, the helping verb will, and also the subject, plus be plus past participle, and after that, the doer. So how many questions will he be asked by the judges? Shall we do the activity? When will they send my exam results? Here, the question word comes first. When. It's followed by the helping verb will. Next, the subject. So here the object of the active voice turned as the subject of the passive voice. So when will my exam results the past participle form B plus past participle form. So when will my exam results be sent? Likewise, you can change the interrogative sentences into passive voice. Right. Now, shall we do the activity? So now, it's a time for the activity. Children, now you pause the video and think about how to change the 10 sentence to active voice into passive voice. Right. Welcome back. Now look at the first sentence. The police arrested the thief. In this sentence, you follow the six steps and first you find out the subject, verb and the object of the sentence. The police is a subject, arrested the verb, the thief is the object. The next one, so the thief, the object become the subject of a sentence, passive sentence and then the verb, arrested. It is in the past form. So you think about the correct B form of the past, was or were. So when we conjugate with the B form with subject, a thief is in singular, so we select was. The thief was arrested by the police. Like that. Look at the second sentence. They built their house in 1983. In this sentence, sometimes you face difficulty in choosing the object. They is the subject, built is the verb. What is the object? The building in 1983, is it correct? No. You should select the correct object from the sentence. Their house is the object of this sentence. So when you change this sentence into passive voice, select the correct object, then it becomes the subject. Their house is in singular and also the verb is in the past form. So their house was built in 1983 by them. Then look at the third sentence. Someone broke a plate yesterday. 
Here, a plate is the object. So the object becomes subject. So a plate is singular. So we select the broke, the verb also in the past form. So a plate was then the verb's past participle form. We have to find out the past participle form of the main verb break, broke, broken. So a plate was broken by someone yesterday. Like that, you have to change these sentences. Let's look at the sixth one. They will sell the articles by auction tomorrow. What do you think about this sentence? Look at the verb. Will sell. So when you saw the verb, you can find out this is in future tense, isn't it? Will sell. So you select the object correctly here, the articles. When you change the sentence into passive voice, the articles will be sold. The past participle form of sell, sold, so will be sold by them, by auction tomorrow. The Prime Minister will unveil the portrait today. Here also, you always remember the six steps, how to change active sentence into passive, and you can do this activity correctly. So here, the portrait is the object, so the object becomes the subject. The portrait will be unveiled by the Prime Minister today. So they will complete the building next year. Here, the building will be completed by them next year. Right, next sentence. They will repair the house soon. Likewise, you change the sentence into passive. The house will be repaired by them soon. They will clean the room tomorrow. Here, the object, the room, becomes a subject. The room will be cleaned by them tomorrow. Now, I hope you all did well. So this is the answers. You check your answer and correct it. And thank you. I hope you enjoy this lesson. Don't think about active and passive is very hard. It's very easy and do it well. Thank you.